YouTubers, this is World of Cars here. Today this is Chapter 7, Meet the Cars Book. As you can see, we already done a few chapters. Here, let me show you. We did Meet the Piston Cup Racers. We talked all about the old school cars. We even talked about Team Rusty's. About Lightning McQueen, several versions, and they cruise on us, Luigi Guido. And next one, we did the next the gen guys, next gen cars out there, Team Dynaco, and more Piston Cup Racers. And we did every of them, and the race that we did all one crew chief and the pace cars and the racing officials but today i'm going to do a video of meet the press this is a brand new uh chapter this is chapter seven meet the press so let's begin on the racing sports network on television on the radio or in print who is track side to give you all the latest race information? The press vehicles. That's who. From high in the sky to down and dirty on the track. They bring you the latest and greatest updates in real time. And here's the first page showing Chick Hicks. So let's read all about Chick Hicks. This is the vehicle type, 1979 Shyster Kremlin. Chick Hicks retired from Piston Cup Racing and signed on to the Racing Sports Network to host his own show. Instead of cutting down opponents on the track, he, know, he now cuts them down verbally on his cable run sports show. Chick Hicks, Chicks Picks with Chick Hicks. If you want the no holds bared commentary, Chick is your car. And there is my Chick Hicks down here become, behind Lightning McQueen here. Oh, this is Cars 1 Chick Hicks. Too bad he's not Cars 3 version. And this is Natalie Certain. Natalie Certain is high respected statistical analyst who judge strictly by the numbers. She's incredibly book smart, but has limited practical knowledge in the racing world. She places more confidence in mathematics than in the passion and determination of a true racer. The vehicle type of Natalie Certain is Eva Motors Provoc Quantus, Quantus 4S. And this is Natalie Certain. You see him die cast Natalie behind Lizzie. Lizzie's just too tall. Well, next page we got Brent Mustenberger. This is 1964 and a half Ford Mustang. Brent Mustenberger is a racing sports network, RSN, broadcasting icon, with the self-proclaimed best star in the garage. The Extable 1964 and a half Ford Mustang is widely considered one of the most recognizable voices on the history of the most actually in the history of automatic sports television and is associated with some of the most memorable moments in, in modern sports. He's followed McQueen's career around the world and back and can't wait to see what happens the next happens next as the next gens change up the game. He'll be at the Piston Cup reporting how it goes down. Yep, this is Brent Mustard Brewer, and I got my diecast. Our son doors, and he's got a headset. 
Next stop is Daryl Cartrip, voiced by the real NASCAR driver Daryl Waltrip. His vehicle type is 1977 Monte Carlo. Let's see. Daryl Cartrip is a Southern Gentle Car and AX Piston Cup champion. So he knows what it takes to win. He's in the Racing Sports Network booth for every major cup event, calling the play-by-play -play and adding humor and personality to the commentary. But when the racing flag drops, he's all business. That is until he shuts his signature. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go racing, boys! That's right. And he's voiced by the real-life NASCAR driver, Daryl Walsh. The next page shows Bob Cutlass. Bob Cutlass is a world-renowned sports announcer. He's covered every sporting event from tractor pulls to monster trucks rallies, including the last three three free or three, I don't know, auto games, but he's most famous for teaming up with former Piston Cup racer Daryl Cartrip. No announcer Piston Cup racing on the RSN. Bob Collins is the voice of reason Daryl's enthusiastic and colorful commentary. His vehicle type is 1998 Saxon GTSC Grand Touring Sport Coupe GHI. Yep, and he's the same model as Bruce Buxman. And this is Corey Turbowitz. The smoky voiced Corey Turbowitz started her career as a voice mail operator. But her delivery of you have free new messages was spoken with such flair and irreverence that next that the next thing she knew knew she was the number one morning show host show host in on the radio in the Bay Area area. As well as one of the top, one of the top Piston Cup reporters on television. Yep, this is says has a Piston Cup press sticker, and her vehicle type is 2005 Luxemobile Animatic. Luxemobile Animatic, cool. This is reporter Shannon Spokes. On the track, reporting is what Shannon Spokes does best. Always in the middle of the at action. She's known for waving her way in the trick, trick, trickies of event interviews and shine as an RSN pit road reporter. She asks the fun questions and does in a moment interviews. In the pits and on the track, if there is a big success or a big mess. Hey, it looks like it run. Success, mess. Well, maybe not. Just look at Shannon. Just look for Shannon. She's the one in the stylish headset. I'll remember her. Headset. Oh, there's her name. Wait a minute. What the heck is down? Oh, uh, camera. Just press. Looks like it says A113 on that press thing. And this is a new one. Tim Rimmer. So let's see. This is his vehicle type is Axello. Tim. I mean, integrity, that's the first rule for any dissent member of the press. Tim Rimmer is not a dissent member of the press. Fa, he's a tabloid photographer 
for a local supermarket rag. But Evan, Tim won't get Chick Hicks the satisfaction of having his photo take, taken while he celebrates his stolen Piston Cup win. Yeah, he's like going, BOO! And this is Chuck Cho Cables. Chuck Cables hails from the Midwest, but somehow found himself in California, covering the biggest race of the season. A live telecaster for 20 years with the Plainville Pavement Press. He recently made the jump up to RSN and became one of the hottest not-so-minivan cams on the news team. This is Chuck's vehicle type is Pablo Loco Lugnader. Yep. And the camera also says Chuck. RSN, this is Chuck Cho Cables himself. And next one is Run Hover. During the week, Ron Hover is new is a new shopper for RSN. But when he's not covering a big race, he's covering a big fire with thousands of gallons of water. Ron is a volunteer firefighter in Sonoma County County, I mean. A thrill seeker by nature. Ron loves the excitement for his work and enjoys helping out his community. This is Wiley Bird Bird Lift a lot. Yep. But he's really small than Rotor Tuboski in the previous chapter. And this next one is Hauser Bon. Let's see what it says about him. Hauser Bon was the first photographer to coin, to coin the how famous praise show us the bolt. He called it out at a press event and Lightning McQueen actually turned right to f toward him and flashes his million dollar lightning bolt. It was indeed a proud moment for Mr. Bond if he'd only trademarked the praise he could have retired 20 years early. Yeah, that's right. He always asks, Lightning, Lightning, can I get a lightning bolt? And Lightning says, Sure. And he's flashing the lightning. This is Dan Sklarkenberg. This is Park Motors Park EX. So let's see what it says all about it. Dan Sklarkenberg knows news. And knowing news like Dan knows news. All allows Dan to cruise for new news that might not be no naturally knowing news as soon as Dan knows new puts him in the know known and since he knew it when it was new and it is does able to report in the now then yes then knows news yeah he's with chuck manifold at the news and this is bert sunday when bert finds a gallery that understands his uh, abstract motion blur photography he will finally be recognized as the true artist that he is. In the meantime, for it's his job as a par parazzo that pays the bills. And yes, paparazzo is the singular of paparazzi. And yes, it means oversized mosqui mosquito in Italian. Hey, Guido, I remember in Cars 3 that Guido says paparazzi. And poof. Yeah, that was really funny. When they entered the racing center. 
Bart's vehicle type is Duckman Futuro. And this, a new car, Cora Copper. Cora Copper. So let's see. Axel Rapido SI. Cora Copper is one of those new sounds you never want to tangle with. Especially if you got something to hide. A tireless, some say Ruddles, investigator. She's uncovered dirt on the cleanest circuit racer. Anything that will sell copies of her paper out of an empire. Yep, she has a camera. And she's like taking fo a lot of photos. She's the camera car, obviously. And this is David Hubscap. His vehicle type is 1963 Jaguar E-Type Lightweight Racer. Oh, David Hubscap was one of the race cars. Original from Royal Leamington SPA England, David Hubscap is a worldwide racing luminary. His 30-year career in professional racing spans the globe as well as all types of motorsports. Now Dave Sorry about that. Now David shares the priceless knowledge as a race or race announcer who is well known for providing comic relief during broadcast a former champion with 20 starts at 24 hours of Lee Mans. His storytelling comes from personal experience. Wow, this is fun. I can't believe he actually was a race car. And last two cars, Chuck Manafort and Skip Richter. Chuck Manafort started but started out in the news business as Barry Pippenlou. But when he started covering the racing scene, he knew that he needed a name better suited for the far nature of the circuit. As soon as he started reporting as Chuck Manifold, his career took a take faster than a drag racer at a green light. And his vehicle type is Capital Motors. Yeah, he looks really mad. It's not that mad, but he's like serious. I don't know what to say, but... And this is Skip Richter. Skip Richter has been reporting about the racing scene for years. After doing volunteer radio broadcasts of race day action in college, he got an internship at a local television station. He soon made his mark with the launch hmm, for his weekly race recap. Hmm, what was that recap? I don't know. the race machine, which can now be seen in 23 cities. This is Brownie Motor Company, Shining RS. And there you have it! The next chapter will be Chapter 8, talking about the Demo Derbies. Well, there you have it, the complete Meet the Press story. And the first one of them all was Chuck Hicks because he cheated. And of course, I did like it. So I'll see you next time for another chapter of... Disney Pixar Cars Meet the Cars. And I'm surely gonna be making it another chapter from Meet the Demolition Derbies. So yeah, this is World of Cars here and uh, bye!